All right, my friends, today as we read, we're going to listen for the vocab words because at the end, you are going to be completing both of your vocabulary sheets that look just like this. So listening for these vocabulary words, we're gonna go over what they mean right now. The first one is snarl, to growl and show the teeth. So this dog in the picture is snarling, growling and showing their teeth. This word is bristly. It means covered with stiff, prickly hair, bristly. This word is massive, which means very large and heavy, like an elephant, massive. This word is shiver. I bet you know what shiver means. It means to shake lightly because you're cold or afraid. This one is neighborhood. A neighborhood is a group of people that live near each other, right? So everybody, everyone lives in a neighborhood of some sort, right? So it's just people who live near each other. Alrighty, my friends, those are the only vocab words. So I want you to be thinking about those vocab words while I read, okay? If your monster won't go to bed. Time for bed. Who hates those words more than anything? That's right, your monster. But we all know what happens when a monster doesn't get enough sleep. Massive monster tantrums. Refusing to join the sneak up and scare your sister game and falling asleep in his slug mush. <gasps> Let's review a bedtime routine guaranteed to help any monster drift off into peaceful nightmare land. Rested and ready to play, toss the slime ball with the rest of the kids and monsters. Don't ask your parents to help you. They know a lot about putting kids to bed, but nothing about putting monsters to bed. It's not their fault. They're just not good at it. Don't bring in your dog to cuddle. She'll bark and whine and chase your monster's tail, and your monster will growl and snarl and chase your dog's tail, which will lead to a monster meltdown. And who wants that besides other monsters? Don't do the monster stomp. Your monster will wiggle and waggle, flick his fur and clench his jaws, and the next thing you know, he'll be shaking his bristly bottom and he won't want to stop and you'll be shaking your unbristly bottom, so it will be a big bottom shaking, waggle wigging, fur flicking, claw clenching, monster kid stomp, which will last all night. Save the monster stomp for daytime fun. Don't have your monster count sheep. You know what will happen. And sheep aren't good for monsters digestion, and that all that wool makes him gassy. The sheep is saying, this is bad, because the monster's eating him. Don't give your monster a glass of milk. Monsters hate milk unless it's sour and green and smells like dirty underwear. Burp. And if you give them sour green dirty underwear smelling milk, they'll stay up all night burping sour green dirty underwear smelling burps. And who wants that? Besides other you know what? I know that's a lot of don'ts. So if your monster go won't go to bed, what do you do? Step one, put your monster, step one, pour your monster a nice big glass of calming, crunchy, oozy bug juice slimed with ooey gooey snail trails. No monster can resist this. And maybe you can't either. Go ahead, take a sip. Are you gonna take a sip of that? Not me. Step two, give your monster an ice cold shiver inducing bath to relax him and make sure to scrub behind his ears with mud soap. Soap. Step three, brush your monster's fangs until they are at their smelly rotten best and don't forget to floss. Step four, help your monster find his favorite squishy squashy can't go to bed without it toy. Put all the other monster toys in your parents' bed. They will appreciate your thoughtfulness. You think they will? Do your parents like if you put toys in their beds? Read the freakiest, creepiest, scariest story from your bookshelf, screaming where appropriate, and watch your monster's eyelids droop. If your monster asks for one more story, shout, no way! 
and get ready for step six in the key of screech sing shaka by monster and listen to those gigantic monster snores along with the snores of your family and maybe even the whole block congratulations you've done it your monster has officially gone to bed you are the master of monsters, the captain of creatures, the baroness, or baron, of boogeymen. You're so good, everyone in your neighborhood will start asking you to help with their monsters. Uh-oh, looks like that dragon won't put on her pajamas, and that werewolf won't stop howling, and that zombie is annoying the whole family. I know a lot about monsters, but nothing about dragons, or werewolves, or zombies. I'm out of here. Alrighty, now that we've read the story, please go complete your vocabulary sheets in your binder. Don't forget to upload them to Google Classroom.